We have the software set up to do a simple sine wave. So you can kind of give a picture of it in action. We zoom in at the measurement. The sine wave is about a little over four volts peak to peak and about 9.3 megahertz. I purposely picked 9.3 megahertz because that's a nice sweet spot with the filtering and oversampling with the DAC. So we get that nice clean sine wave. Let's look at something a little more complex. Here we have the Pi wave again, and this time we selected the two tone signal, which is two sine waves added together. So here I have the oscilloscope set up for the time domain and frequency domain. So time domain on top, we have the frequency domain on the bottom. Our two humps represent the sine wave frequencies. So I'm gonna play that. And I'm adjusting the, the timing so we can kind of get a different picture of the, the signal in the frequency domain. One thing I want to point out is the output of the DAC is pretty clean. We can see some harmonic content, right? These two points represent our two sine waves, our two frequency points. And we can see we got about 40 dB from these peaks down to some of these unwanted harmonics. Some of these are caused by the fact that, you know, DACs aren't per perfect and filtering isn't perfect. But also some of this is caused by the jitter from the clock on the RP2350.